Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about end of year math test taking strategies and how to prepare your students in a meaningful way. It is the last part of our math test prep series that will give you tips, strategies, and resources to develop a math test plan to meet the needs of all your students. You will learn how to help your students earn higher scores this year. The purpose of this video series is to help you, the math teacher, do less work doing the wrong things by instead using the best strategies for test prep to help your students earn higher results in math. Grab your video notes. We are on page 10 today. If you don't have the notes, you can grab them in the description of this video. In the past five videos, we've talked about the three parts of math test prep. One, having a plan for test prep. Two, practicing often before the test and three, evaluating, preparing with a practice test and reference sheet. Now let's look at the best thing kids can do and bring on testing day. The best thing that your kids can bring on testing day is a positive attitude. There are a couple of things you can do to help them be positive. One is to work on a math growth mindset. Do activities with your kids about math growth mindset and help and encourage them with encouraging quotes with your kids like, I can learn anything I want to, or I haven't learned that yet, but I still want to. Math confidence for students is key to creating a mindset for testing. Help grow your students' math confidence every day in class until testing day arrives. Students also need support at home from their parents and guardians about testing day. Involve their parents and guardians in the process. Send a letter home to parents with ways that they can support their child. The parent letter is on page 18 of your video notes. Also, you could send a positive note home to kids on testing day from you, their teacher. The positive note encourages students that they will do great on the end of your test and you are so proud of them. Kids need to hear that encouragement and they need to hear that you're proud of them for the work that they've done. These positive notes are on pages 19 and 20 of your video notes. If you don't have the notes, you can grab them in the description of this video. What I wanna encourage you to do is to keep reiterating support and positivity to your students. Words of affirmation are helpful in building math confidence. Now let's keep talking about test taking tips. Test taking tips. Number one, be prepared. What is the math test going to cover? What do I need to know to pass? Be ready to take the math test on testing day by studying the material weeks ahead of time. Number two, review early. It's never too early to start reviewing for a math test. Review by yourself or with a group. Do a couple questions a day leading up to the big test. Number three, make an outline. Prepare your own math test notes. With an outline, list what math concepts you need to know for the test, add any other information that's important. Number four, take a practice test in class. Before testing day, find a practice test and take it in class. This will help you know if you are ready or you need to review more math skills. Number five, be relaxed. Take a moment before the test to take a deep breath and focus on what you need to accomplish to pass the test. Number six, listen to the testing teacher. Before, during, and after the math test, you should be listening to the directions that are read aloud by the testing room teacher. Students are not always with the same teacher that teaches math. Sometimes you're with a different teacher to take the math test. Be sure to ask them to repeat the directions if you didn't hear them correctly. Number seven, memory dump. List any important information that you want to not forget on the math reference sheet or first page of the, your math testing booklet. This way you won't forget it. Number eight, reread the directions. Carefully read and reread the testing directions. What are they asking you to do? What do you have to do to find the correct answer? Number nine, answer all the questions. Even if you're short on time, it's important to answer all the questions, unless it's a test that if you answer wrongly, then you get penalized, but I don't know many end of year math tests that actually do that. Number 10, use your time wisely. If you know how long the math test will take, watch the clock and pace yourself. If you're not sure, 
about a question, leave it for the end, come back and answer it later. Number 11, get plenty of sleep. Go to bed early the night before, get at least eight hours of sleep or the best sleep you can, preferably two REM cycles of four hours each. Number 12, eat breakfast. Eat your breakfast and lunch before the math test. It may be early in the morning or early in the afternoon, so make sure you have eaten ahead of time. Number 13, stay hydrated. If allowed, keep a water bottle by your desk. Make sure you have a drink before the math test, during or after. Make sure you don't spill it on the test and that you're very careful with your water bottle. Number 14, use the bathroom. Go to the bathroom before the math test. There's no reason to go to the bathroom during the test time. Please make sure that students use the bathroom before testing time. And number 15, sharpen pencils. Make sure you have plenty of number two pencils with erasers. It's always good to have at least two at your desk just in case. Completing a standardized test is not always intuitive. Students need help navigating how to read directions, solve math problems, where to put their answers. Start by reviewing the grade level reference sheet that students will receive on test day. Look over formulas, measurements, and conversions, how students can use the reference sheet to solve problems on the math test. This is all important. Math Test Hero is the best workshop for teaching your students math test taking strategies to earn higher results in math. This quick and easy one hour workshop for teachers will give you tips, strategies, and resources to boost your math scores. Included are grade level checklists and secret test taking strategies only inside Math Test Hero Workshop. Save your energy and get higher results this year. On page 11 of your notes, you'll find the coupon code for Math Test Hero. There is a solution to the problem of what the best thing kids can bring to the end of your math test. And that solution is to bring a positive attitude and your math confidence. Help your students build their math confidence every single day so that they will shine on the end of year math test. For more information about the math test prep video series, be sure to check the description of this video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. This concludes our math test prep series. To go back and rewatch videos, be sure to check out Teaching Math and More's playlist titled Math Test Prep. It's on our Teaching Math and More channel. You will find all the videos in the series in the playlist. Thank you for watching.